Morning comes early to families living in the Ada West region of Ghana, a country in West Africa. Farmers rise with the sun to begin the trek to their farms where they work for the day. December and January mark the beginning of the harvest season, but this year there are very few crops to harvest. We have um, low production this year in our country because of this um, low rainfall. Between March and September, the region usually experiences its heaviest rainfall. But this year it rained only four days, turning the fertile soil into sand and destroying most of the crops. Theo Bako and his family left the village last year because they couldn't earn enough farming. Bako still returns once a week to check what's left of his crops. <laughs> There are not a lot of rain falling here, so it lets the tomatoes do not get enough water to produce the, the tomatoes for them to harvest well. So it caused a lot of problem for them this year and the following years. Tomatoes, watermelon and peppers are usually cash crops in this region, but without rain they struggle to grow and often just wilt. Desperate to keep their crops alive, many farmers fetch water and carry it to the farm a few times a week. But it's not easy. Families who depend on farm income have been forced to find other ways to make ends meet. What they normally do in the village is that they cut down trees and bring out a charcoal. So with that, most of the people get some few monies from it and they use it to cater for their families. Other families travel to nearby lagoons to mine salt or try to raise animals, but that's risky because so many animals die of disease. Many farmers believe preparing for drought is the best option. We need a heavy dam which could hold a maximum volume of water for the whole year round so that uh, we will base on that particular dam for irrigation purposes to enhance or to boost the production um, in our country. Mercy Tuga represents the district's parliament. She agrees that irrigation is needed and it will take the help of a non-governmental organization. Mostly the NGOs are those who help us mostly in doing these things because the one that the government started had collapsed. Mercy and many others complained about the government's role. I don't think they know or they understand what farming is. We are the last people in everything that the district that does for us. Gideon Trosam is a high school student in the Volta region of Ghana, but his family farms in the village. So this year it's difficult for our parents to do the farm because there's no enough rain for us to farm. So they don't get enough money to pay for our school fees. Gideon, along with many young people, has to find work to pay school fees. As young as I am, I didn't supposed to pay my school fees, but due to that circumstance, I have to work so I'll get some money and pay for my school fees because my parents cannot provide me all. More than 80% of the population in the greater Accra region live rurally and work as farmers. With no rain, many people are moving to the urban centers for jobs. People expect newly elected President John Mahama to recognize the hard work of farmers and offer more support. The government needs to help the farmers because most of their food items are from the village. Mm -hmm. So without farmers, the government and those, of, those who are staying in the higher position, they can't get enough food. So the government needs to help the farmers so that they can produce more food. If the government doesn't offer assistance, farmers are committed to finding a way to avoid losing their crops in the future. For Stew Journalism, I'm Kara Cousins.